What's up, everybody? Welcome to Mad About Toys. I know the thumbnail said it's a toy tour of my G.I. Joe collection, and it is. I just want to highlight a couple of these head swaps that I did that I absolutely love. One is I had an extra trigger and I had an extra stalker. So I wanted to put them to use. My G.I. Joe collection is like an army. I just want to fill it with army characters, army figures, not necessarily trying to fill it with G.I. Joe characters. What? So just when I get an army body that I like and I like a, a head swap, I'm going to try to do that in my collection. As you'll see, I have a few uh, that I really like uh, once we get into the tour here. But for the top 10, I took a lot of them off my shelf. So while I was watching some fights last night, I was putting them back on the shelf and just doing some head swaps. And one of them was Jigsaw. I thought, I'm just going to try to swap it on this uh, trigger body. And oh man, did I absolutely fall in love with this head swap here. I put Trigger's um, beret on it, or sorry, Stalker's beret on it. And I think it just looks fantastic. I think he looks like just like a deranged army sergeant, something along those lines. The other one was uh, Stalker's head on the old roadblock the original roadblocks body i think that looks pretty awesome too so like i said i had two stalkers i didn't want to put two of them on my shelf so i swapped it with this one here and basically got a another character on my shelf also had an extra trigger head so i wanted to do something with that have lots of punishers in my collection so this one here i thought was the most army like and uh, tried to paint the, ha the ha hat black, but uh, used a little bit too much of a glossy paint. So I'm just going to have to try to redo that. But I like the results. The black looks good. With, but I might try to do a gray uh, wash on his beard. We'll see what happens. But whatever you guys like doing with your collection, that is awesome. Let me know in the comments section below. But let's do it. Let's take a look at my G.I. Joe collection at the start of 2023. And apparently there's going to be a uh, figure number 100 by the end of the year. So could be a lot of more figures on my shelf by the end of the year. Hit that subscribe button so you can see how much it's grown. It grows throughout the year. Let's do it. Here's a tour of my collection for 2023. Right, here's my collection in full on my TV stand. Vintage Ninja Turtles behind there. I used to have my NECA Ninja Turtles there, but uh, the size of my G.I. Joe collection and with the amount of figures that Hasbro's going to put out in this line, I need to make some more rims. So let's take a closer look here. All right, here we go. This Jeep here, I got at a wine store in Sudbury, Ontario. You can't stick the figure's legs in there. But I got a figure for that. No legs, cannonball in there. My opinion, looking great. Jonah Jameson. Old man here. Captain America body. Looking good. Get that to focus. Old man Hawkeye looking good. In my opinion, anyways. These are the figures that make me happy in my collection of army guys, G.I. Joes. Whoever's gonna make an army figure, I'm gonna put it in this collection here. But I'll refer to it as a my G.I. Joe collection. Fortnite figure here with a Valiverse uh, head on it. We got uh, Scarlet back there with Agent Carter's body. I like that a lot. There we got War Machine head on Roadblock's body. Beachhead, one of my favorite figures there. One of the hardest ones it was for me to get. Definitely love that Jeep. I think it looks great and scales well. Here's another vehicle. I like to get a few more of these. They're Ninja Turtles. 
Scarlet Johansson head. Black Widow on a Scarlet body. Bonebreaker. Definitely putting him in this collection. I think he goes really well. The Tiger Force guys there. Oh, some of my favorite G.I. Joes in my collection there. Sorry about the light here. Terrible lighting in the basement. Hopefully I will eventually get really nice lighting. But at the moment, it is what it is. Cobra Commander. Sergeant Slaughter. Snake Eyes, Storm Shadow, Baroness. Awesome, awesome figures. Oh, those pins. Deluxe figure, they should have definitely made it pinless. My new uh, Lieutenant Crazy Horse there. Freedom. Tim Kennedy. These dioramas for aquariums, they were great for your G.I. Joe collection. Spirit, Timber, Yona, Crockmaster, Lots more G.I. Joes in the works, apparently. We've all seen the names. Can't wait to see more figures. Serpentor. The more articulated ninjas. But that's pretty much it. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you haven't already, it's your first time here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I drop videos regularly. So you don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys have a great day. And I'll talk to you guys later. All done the video. Ah!